It's the Morning Madhouse. JJ, Mike, and Don. want to be on top. Wow, a lot of people have been talking about it and it is finally ready to hit the screens very soon. New Zealand's next top model on TV3 and host and judge, superstar, Dominic Bowden. Good yeah. morning. Good morning. <laughs> Sarah Tetro is in studio. Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah. Hello. Now, you'd just be getting used to all this, wouldn't you? Because you'd be more getting the interviews for the people that you have signed up for your agency rather than doing them yourself. Well, yeah, it's a bit of a change being on this side of the fence. Hmm. Mm. I tell you, what, we're, we're so excited about this show starting. When you know, because rumours started a few months ago that you were going to be hosting it, and when that was confirmed, we thought, yeah, she's going to be great at this. Oh, look, I mean, I'm just stoked to get the job and we're having the best fun. I never expected it to be so much fun. I figured it'd be hard work, which it is, but we are really enjoying the process. And so have you had a brief, like, because, you know, Next Top Model is like this franchise and there's certain rules you have to adhere to, you know, like for New Zealand to have it on TV here, you have to do some of the same things that America does. Have they told you you have to be a certain type of way as a host? No, they haven't. I mean, I guess those rules are uh, more an issue for production rather than for me. I get to do what I want to do, I guess. I mean, they've they employed me to do the job because I'm an expert in our field and there's no point in me trying to be Tyra. I'm not Tyra. Mm. I am Sarah. And, uh, yeah, so we're doing it our way. Well, that's good because Tyra's a little bit annoying at times, I find. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I think she's pretty cool and it seems to work for them, but, yeah, there's no point in me trying to be her. I was going to say, you obviously would have watched America's Next Top Model. Do you watch it religiously? I've been watching it, actually, a lot more recently. Right. Um, not that I didn't watch it before, but I've been watching it over and over and over again, and I'm looking at it quite differently. You know, I'm looking for different things, how it's being produced, why they're doing certain things and saying certain things, and... I guess it's kind of uh, viewing it from a different angle for me now. They're quite honest on there, you know, I like the way they, they, you know, they talk about the girls, you know, like they're sort of bitchy towards them in a way. They tell them, you know, you, you don't do that right, you're just useless at this or whatever. Are you guys going to be that honest and brutal on this show? Oh, well, I mean, you're going to have to watch the show. I'm not going to give that away. You, but you are. You, just, you have it in you to be honest. I know you're going to be, yeah, you're going to be, you're going to be nasty. There's a difference between being honest and being downright nasty. Are you going to have Sarah Mail? <laughs> You'll have to watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> you, you bloody well are, aren't you? <laughs> I've, copped, I've copped a few Sarah Mail jokes at home. Right. Have you really? I have, yeah. Have you left Sarah Mail around the house? No, but my, <laughs> my husband, <laughs> my husband has, has uh, cracked a few Sarah Mail jokes and gone running to the front door clapping. <laughs> <laughs> really? Pretty yeah. proud of himself. Yeah, it's quite embarrassing. That's awesome. yeah, it's and I know, you know, you filmed most of the show. Obviously, there's still a bit more filming to go. Have there been tears and tantrums, can you say? I can't really say anything about that, but what I can say is that if you put 13 girls in a house together, you're going to get a reaction whether they're being filmed or not. Right. So we don't need to ask the girls to say or do anything. The girls are quite capable of being who they want to be, but 13 girls under pressure on television... Go figure. So, 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 so where, are, where are things at? Like, are, are you still filming? Has it completely finished? I'm not Can't answering Can't say? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So many secrets. We, we, we saw a photo of the house in the um, Herald on Sunday a couple of weeks ago. God, they're living in a mansion, aren't they? It looks beautiful. Well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not often I'm lost for words. Look, I mean, it's a great house and, and, you know, it's been, it's worked out perfectly for the girls and I know they're having a really great time there and I think you'll get to see more of it. 7.30 on TV3. Friday the 13th. That really? is when it starts. Yes, Friday the 13th of March. TV3 at 7.30. We'll take a break. Actually, we'll play Beyonce Single Ladies for all the models that are competing and we'll be back in just a minute. More questions with Sarah yeah, Tetro, yeah. host of New Zealand's Next Top Model. Of New Zealand's Next Top Model, which starts Friday the 13th of March, 7.30pm on TV3. I'm really excited. And Colin Mathura Jeffrey and Chris Sisarich alongside you. Now, that both, I mean, Chris Sisarich, you know, probably a lot of people know him as a photographer. Colin is a new name as well to the general public. Colin's a new name to the general public, but he's not new to our industry. Right, yeah, but for people watching at home, what's he like? Oh, he is hilarious. I mean, he's got an amazing eye, Colin, so he's a pleasure to work by. But apart from that, just walking into the room with him, I, I find a complete pleasure. Really? And what about Chris? What's is, what's he like on the show? Is he is he a funny guy? Or is he more serious? No, Chris, look, Chris is funny. I mean, Chris just doesn't look funny because he's standing next to Colin, who happens to be hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> but, but Chris is a great photographer, and he was a really good model for a long time, and he knows the business inside out. So the girls really respect him. They they know that he knows what he's talking about, and they listen. And how how's this been for you? Because I'm guessing you've 
you know, in, in the beginning felt like a fish out of water. I mean, you're, you're exceptional at what you do. You negotiated Daniel Carter's jockey deal. You do all sorts of stuff like that. And you've known it as like, almost like a bit of a pit bull. Uh, <laughs> the way, the way, the way, oh, that's the way you prefer, I prefer to look at it as firm and uh, right. focused. A, a, hot, a hot pit bull. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. but this is your first, your first um, you know, foray into television. How's, how's it been? Has it been weird for you not being in, you know, in control? I, I guess I probably didn't really actually give it that much thought, which might be a bit stupid, but it worked for me. And the first scene that we actually filmed, I remember quite clearly standing there, taking a deep breath, thinking I'm completely in over my head, and <laughs> I've never done this before, and this has got to be extremely good for me personally. And I mean, I think we all often get comfortable with what we're doing, and there's nothing wrong with jumping into something that you've never done before. I completely trust the people I'm working with you know the producer Anna and the um, you know the DOP Hamish and Ross the director those guys you know they know television inside out so they will make sure that if I'm doing something that's not right they'll tell me and if they tell me I'll redo it and I'll redo it the right way so I trust them which makes it really quite easy for me. Sarah I've got awesome. a couple of questions for you host of New Zealand's Next Top Model what would you like to ask Bill? Hey, um, I was just wondering if there's going to be any nudity on there. <laughs> <laughs> How much nudity do you normally see at 7.30 on a Friday night on television? <laughs> on Channel 3, let me just make that clear. Well, um, I'm hoping they're going to make a change to the, <laughs> to the Broadcasting Act and just bring the nudity level to an earlier time, just for those <laughs> single men out there. Can I can I steer you in a different direction? Um, Californication on TV three Thursday nights, uh, nine thirty. Yeah. Watch nine thirty. Yeah, watch that watch for that your nudity fix. They got a few boobies in there. There's, there's, there's a lot more than boobs. Sure on that does. Show. Sure does. And uh, and added extra. Think, it's not a bad storyline. I either. think we should take your number and give it to the police. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mel. Hi. I just wanted to ask. Uh, um, did age and maturity have like a big influence on who you chose to be on the show? Um, I, I wouldn't say it had influence, but it's definitely a factor. I mean, there, there are factors that contribute in, in many areas, and girls do need to have, you know, uh, the ability to look after themselves. So that can be a maturity thing, and age can and cannot have a factor on that sometimes, I guess. So if you were stunningly beautiful but a bit of a spinner, you might not have been able to make the cut. Well, no, that can happen. I mean, you know, I've come across girls before who are incredibly beautiful, but they're just actually not ready. Right. And we do have to be responsible about it. You're not doing any any kid, no matter how beautiful she is, a favour right. by putting her on television when she's just simply not equipped to deal with it. True. And North Island, South Island, is there a fair split amongst the 13 contestants? Well, I mean, I, I think all the, the hot girls come from the North Shore myself. Right. But, um, they, <laughs> they, do, they do, and they're generally pretty easy. <laughs> which is a bonus. Sure girl, sure thing. The, um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty pretty clear split. I mean, I, you know, I certainly didn't look at where the girls were from when we were picking them. That wasn't a factor. I right. was looking at, looking at, at what they looked like and, and how they performed. Okay, so what about the winner of New Zealand's Next Top Model? Is there a chance she can actually have a career? Because, you know, you look at NZ Idols, for example, in the past, and it's all very exciting because they've been on TV and the, their first single sells huge because it's got all that TV backing behind them and then they just fizzle out to nothing because they can't sustain it. Can this happen for New Zealand's Next Top Model, seriously? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got some beautiful girls and these girls are really maturing and really growing and they're learning from the people that they're working with. So I see no reason why at least heaps of them won't do well. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Do you think you even pimp them overseas, Sarah? I prefer not to use the word pimp, JJ, <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure there, are, there, are, there are many of many the girls that will work overseas. Really, that's awesome. Brilliant. Oh, exciting for the girls. Exciting for you too. I reckon next time they do one of those hot cougar lists, <laughs> oh, you are going oh, to replace um, Petra and be top of the list. Can you be a cougar if you're like married? Aren't Think cougars so. like oh, on yeah. the prowl? We can change the definition. this conversation. <laughs> in case your man's listening. Um, it is nine to eight. Honestly, there is a great buzz about New Zealand's Next Top Model. Friday the 13th of March. I'm very excited. Can't wait to see it. You can see it too. TV3. And we'll keep you updated with everything New Zealand Next Top Model like when the show hits air. Sarah Tetro, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Best yeah. of luck. And be ready for the nay haters too. You know, the people <laughs> yeah. that will hate it. Yeah, it's sex. Yeah, it's no joke. No, we're already <laughs> saying and they haven't even seen the show. <laughs> Those people. Wouldn't be right if they went, That's if they right. went around. <laughs> You're so right. It's the Kiwi way. That's what we do. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. It's nine to eight the end. Edge. The Morning Madhouse. JJ, Mike and Don.